Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to be checking out the demo for Jack Moo. This is like a prologue demo slash little sneak peek of a game called Jack Moo that's, been, that's going to be releasing soon. And it's like a cyberpunk JRPG, which seems really, really cool. So let's go ahead and hop in. I do love me some JRPGs, some jerpigs as I like to call them. But yeah, the art and just it being a cool cyberpunk JRPG is definitely what drew me to this. Um, I just happened to be scrolling across Steam and found it. Another day, another dull day to heist. This is it? Where do you even find these jobs? Here's why I'm rest for you. Haha, <laughs> very funny. You're not the one dumpster diving into a corporate server for stupid blackmail material. Need to pay the bills somehow, partner. <laughs> Wait, that's a mono mine goon. Seriously, Ryder? No wonder this job pays. It's a corporate rat nest. I didn't know. Make yourself scarce. Stat! You should pull out. What? No way. You said it yourself. We need to pay the bills. And you said it was a rat nest of trouble. Don't get cocky. Noah, can't risk messing around with corpse. Remember what happened last time? That was like months ago. We totally learned new stuff since then. It was last week. Hey, what are you doing back there? <laughs> yeah, you were talking on the phone. Did you just think they wouldn't hear? Well, I sure hope so, because we're in deep now. Got those new moves from your uncle, Gwyn? Gwyn? Gwyn, I'm gonna say. Lord of Cinder. Andy? Been practicing all week. Get ready, it's time to shine. All right, and here we go, immediately. Wow, this, this, this demo hits the ground running. We are in the combat system, Cyber Clash. Great start, Noah. Not even finished configuring this new deck of yours yet. A little different from what you're used to, so let's have a little tour. Up here we have turn order. This uh, dynamically predicts who's going to be hacking and smacking next. Great for strategically planning your upcoming moves. Vitals. Health. Make sure this never hits zero. Data. This is used when executing software abilities. Up here's a status readout. This lets you know what's popping and who's dropping. Let's get this baby calibrated. Why don't you choose hack from the menu and socket to the schoon? All right, partner. Huh. Makes me think of, uh, like, uh, Shadowrun. Also, Mega Man Cyber Network a little bit, although the combat is obviously a lot different. Just the kind of being in a virtual world and hacking and fighting with, like, digital abilities and stuff. Hack. Yeah, that's hack. You just punch them. Yeah, that's how I hack things. Really have been practicing. You take it from here. Another whack ought to do it. Bop. Nice work, Noah. You really showed him. Wow, that's as that's as strong as the uh, the corporate uh, goons are, huh? Just you punch them twice and they're down. Yeah. Ooh, I like the music and everything. Ooh, okay, we got stats too. Excuse me, Grok. I have a sass stat. <laughs> I have a sass stat. Excuse me. <laughs> what does the sass stat do, and why is it going to be the skill I put the most points into? <laughs> I just want to have an incredibly sassy character. That's an amazing stat. Sass. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Thank you, thank you. I told you I've been practicing. Good for you, girl. Now to find that server. It's in some exec office on the top office level. Search for the office. Search the office for virtual dirt. Is there anything I can find in the environment by exploring? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm really uh, liking the presentation of the game so far. I mean, I'm not even five minutes in yet, but I don't know. It's got some pretty cool art, some good music and everything. Combat seems like it'll be cool. You're entering an encounter zone. When you see the threat level indicator in the top right of your screen, there is danger near. The meter will fill as it gets more dangerous. Once it's full, danger can strike at any time. Oh my god, no way! <clears throat> so... One of my favorite ways of doing uh, random battles in JRPGs is the way uh, Legend of Dragoon does it, which is basically it has a meter that fills up, and when that meter fills up, it means you're about to get into a battle. So it's not, it gives you a warning. It's still random battles, but it's not as random. Like if you need to heal up before the threat level hits the highest level you can, or something like that. I like that system a lot. Not a lot of other games used it. Huh. Yeah, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, it's exactly like uh, Legend of Dragoon. That's awesome. I haven't seen something else use this kind of system in a long time. All right, I don't know if I've ever seen anything else use that system, but I might just stop you thinking of something right now. Or I might not have played something that did. 
All right, I got your software execution systems up and running. Software allows you to execute more powerful attacks or abilities. Executing software uses up data. You can see how much data you have over here, remember? Cyberware, Electroware, and Wetware are the three types of damage dealing software. Different enemies are weaker or stronger against different types. These suckers are weak to all of them. There are also a ton of utilities that can help heal you. Increase your defense, decrease an enemy's attack, or reveal more information. Okay, we got scan, we got debuffs. And that's just for starters. For executing, execute and running glitch on one of these guards. <clears throat> How can with cyberware? Strong against uh, electroware type enemies. What about malware? Where's my malware? Can I hit, can I hit these dorks with some Trojan horses? Great. Whoa, gigaflop. <laughs> gigafloppin'. <laughs> oh gosh. Damn straight. All right, all right. Finish off this chump any way you like. Giga flops. What, what's the what's the other weird gaming language that was used to sell their shit? Um, blast processing. That was used uh, to sell the um, Sega Genesis, I think. They were like, the Sega Genesis can do blast processing, and people were like, what what is blast processing? And they're like, don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, oh cool, so it says glitch, level 1, XP, so... Oh, do we level up our skills as we use them? I love that so much. If JM is job points, then... I I'm going to be in love with this game, because I love job classes and stuff in video games, they're so much fun. I don't know what else JM would mean. Luggin, you got the mini filter chip hardware, load it from the hardware menu in your inventory. Mini filter chip. Boosts software defense a nice amount, so magic defense basically. Cool. Hardware modules allow you to augment your cyberspace deck with different effects like extra RAM or a higher attack rating. You can find different modules at special electronic shops or even in a trash pile if you look carefully. You start with one hardware expansion slot. You can upgrade your cyberspace deck to increase that amount in electronic shops. Okay, yeah, very reminiscent of like the systems in like Unsighted or something. Or like, you know, near Automata. Install the module by selecting an expansion slot and by pressing A, you can then choose an available module from the list. When expansion slot or available module is selected, you can see the effects it will have in the right hand panel, including any stat increases, defenses, and any subsystems. Cool. Boost software defense. Love to see it. Love to see it. I did actually equip it, right? Yeah, okay. So it's it's on. It's on. Cool. It was still showing my boosted stats over there, so I was like, wait, did I actually equip it? Yeah, very, very into a lot of what this game is doing right now. <laughs> I've also uh, come to appreciate cyberpunk stuff specifically more in recent years. I don't know, just something that draws me in. And here we are in our battle. That's so cool that they're, that they're using that system. I don't know if it's specifically inspired by Legend of Dragoon, but... A lot of people seem to like that, uh, that game. Ouch, Noah. Looking a little beat up there. Don't worry, though. We can fix that in a nanosecond. One of the cool things about your new deck is its virtual memory system. This allows you to use one of your turns to swap out your loaded software in mid-battle. Okay, so we can we can change equipment. Because installing software takes a turn, it can be risky if you really need an ability right away. That's where the cash action comes in handy. It allows you to delay this turn until your next one and run the defense subsystem while waiting. Oh, we can defend and our next turn will come faster? Or you're just meaning I'm going to get two actions next time. Okay, so JM probably doesn't mean job points. It might be like an over-limit ability, like limit break or something. Let's give that a run and see how it works. Choose cash. Okay, so we're going to defend and delay your turn until next time. So does this mean we get two turns in a row? Check it out. Defend's now listed in our running subsystems. Yeah, now I get two actions. Cool. Alright, well that's very useful. Alright, we took a little less damage there. And now we have some breathing room to install and execute our healing software. Choose install from the action menu and let's peep how that works. RAM blocks. Software calls RAM blocks to install. You only have a limited amount of RAM, so you'll have to juggle which software you want installed at any one time. You can ignore how much you can... Uh, ignore. You can upgrade how much RAM you have at electronic shops. To install software, select a block and press A to choose from the list of available software. The metadata on the left-hand side shows you how many RAM slots an item takes, the type of software it is, and how much data it costs to use. 
Try installing the Intravene software. There's one RAM block available for it. Hit B once you've installed the software and choose to save your changes. All right, cool. Intravene. So yeah, this only costs one. Heal a small amount. Uh, save your changes. Yep. Now we have Intravene installed. We can execute it and get you fixed up. All right. Boom. Oh yeah. Gash is also a great strategic tool if you think an upcoming attack might be a powerful one. Sweet treats! You know let me well on these mono mooks now? Good sure thing, kiddo. Let him have it. <clears throat> the, like, healing systems and everything in play also kind of reminds me of Parasite Eve, which is a fantastically interesting game, and I'm so sad about what, uh, what happened to that series. It's so depressing. Uh, hack. Boom. I'll just punch you. We should be fine. So the question is, can I use Intervene outside of combat? Okay, yeah, and we're, we're leveling up our skills and everything. Okay. Okay. You have my attention. Uh, Jack Move, I believe it was called. Nice, a data packet. Use this to refill your data menu uh, meter from the patch menu. I love how it's all, like, patch, execute, software. Just, like, all of these different terms for, you know, the th same things we're used to seeing. Like, ooh, okay, I have a... Can use outside of battle. So, can I... Um, use software. Execute. Okay, I can. I can heal outside of battle with that. Neato. Cool. Uh, I think I was saying something else, but I've forgotten now. Oh, another whoopsie. <clears throat> I was running around like a doofus too much. New enemies? Hello, just lady with a knife? Or person with a knife? Hi. Hello. Um... Power dresser. Power pooch. Um, I don't know if you dorks are weak to glitch or not. I mean, I still did pretty good damage. Stiletto slash. Okay. I will punch you. Yeah, that certainly is a stiletto. Stilettos are so cool. I love them. And no, I'm not talking about the shoes. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Well, in the in the full game, I would want to use magic as much as possible. I really like how um, there's a uh, shine effect on the treasure chest that makes them really stick out from the rest of the environment. Cool, health packet. Use this to refill your health meter from the patch menu. All right. Cuckoo. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember, I can't just run around like that. I need to actually stop moving. Uh, if I'm just, like, looking around at the screen. I need to pay attention to that stuff a little bit more. But it's fine, we can... We might get our meter filled? Yeah, it is. It's filled now. Um, well, I'm gonna glitch you. Okay, you're weak to that. You're weak to the green. Check it out, your JM meter's maxed out. That means you can now, uh, get to pull off a super special jack move. You'll need to perform a special sequence of inputs, and the more inputs you get timed correctly, the more damage you'll do. And put a perfect sequence for maximum devastation. Awesome, let me try it out. Killer Watt. Okay. <clears throat> uh, down, down, down. Perfect. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was amazing. Felt like I was actually inside my deck. Like at one with cyberspace, that was such a cool effect. Yeah, those abilities are good and cool. The guy about covers the basics of your deck and cyberspace abilities. A couple more options available, but I'll let you figure this out. Good luck. That was awesome. This game is awesome. When I saw it was a demo that had released on Steam and had very positive reviews, I was like, oh wow, this might be a real treat. And uh, I was not wrong. It is a treat. All right. Alrighty, the material we're looking for should be on that terminal. Okay. Okay, I'm in the target's account. Good, grab what we need and get out of there. Hold your Trojans, I'm working on... I just mentioned Trojans earlier. Nothing, nothing... Wait, yes! He's been sending out a lot of pictures of this one account. You rock, Noah. Yuck, who does that? Is that even healthy? What is it? I wanna see. Of course you do, you freak. Okay, that's all the evidence we need. I like the changing portraits, too. Always a neat detail. 
Sweet, that's next month's power bill sorted. What's next? Do I go out the way I came? No, uh, looks like security's on high alert in that direction. Too high. Noah, look out! Ooh. Okay, what is this? Okay, just random battle. Fine. Easy. Execute. I will glitch you, power dresser. Goodbye, person. How dare you smack me? Uh-uh. I will smack you back. Let's uh, take a little bit closer look at the rest of my... What's patch? Okay, so that's... Oh, yeah, that's using item installs, just... Okay. Yeah, we're, we're familiar with all of our things now. Punch. I want to level up glitch and see what happens if you do that. Ew, that was a close one. Sending you a different route. Head out the back and up the stairs. Up the stairs? Trust me. Escape. Escape. Uh, alright, so... Patch. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to data pack it up. <clears throat> so we can keep spamming our magic. Yeah, I feel like in the full version of this game, I would be a mage. I also, after playing this demo, am very interested in playing the full game, so this is going on the wish list. Possibly see it in the future. Oh. I didn't know that's what that was going to be. Oh well, I wasted one of my healing items, but it's fine. Now I know. Alright, let's just get up here. Cool. Alright, threat level. Okay, so it st specifically does away with the problem that's in um, Legend of Dragoon as well. Um, in Legend of Dragoon, you could reset the meter by going between rooms, I believe. So, in this, it the, the meter persists through the rooms. Ding ding, a health packet. Cool. Ooh, is that another treasure chest over there? I just see a tiny bit of shiny. Three enemies. I don't like that. Okay, so the power dresser is super fast. Faster than my character, even. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the power pooch. Again. Seems like a good idea. Um, I will also glitch you. Because you hit kind of hard. The last dork, I'll just punch, though. Bop. And bop. Yeah, the animations are really smooth and everything, too. I also like, like, the moving floor. This game's just doing a lot of really neat things visually. It's got, like, some pre-rendered backgrounds with some nice art and everything for the battles. It's just cool. I like it. Boom. Yeah, okay, that was a treasure. That was, uh, hidden pretty well. But once again, the shine helped lead me to it. <clears throat> God. Yeah, now I'm hyped. Now I'm hyped for this. Just playing this short little demo, I'm hyped for it. It's just really good. It's a really solid demo. I think I saw on the Steam page that it is pretty short, so I don't know how much longer it'll be going on, but honestly, I'm very, very happy with everything I've seen so far, so... Okay, we do get a low health indicator, and uh, my glitch leveled up. Does it tell me what that does? Does it just increase damage? It doesn't tell me what it does, so let's use a health packet. There we go. Yeah, it didn't tell me what that actually does for me, but uh, whatever. Up here. I have my limit break uh, charged up if we're gonna about to fight a boss or something. Short circuits, this doesn't look good, Ryder. I'm trapped, got a good plan to get me out of here? One minute, pal. I'm not sure I have a minute. Okay. Just more, just more random goons. Oh no. You're different. Okay, you might be a boss. Um, Mono Mine Security Brute. Oh, do you hate that? You do hate that. Electro Club? Okay. Well, uh, I can jack move you. Strong gets wetware type enemies. And it's, uh... Yeah, it's, this is cyberware. Okay, so you're an electroware type enemy. Okay, are the enemies color-coded, actually, so I always know what type they are? Well, no, because the, the power dresser and dog didn't have a specific color. But I, th I thought for a second they were all color-coded, but... Okay, call forth a storm of electroware damage. Uh-huh. Boom, boom, boom. Those are always the same direction, it seems. Last time it was like, right, 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 wasn't it? Ooh, nice crit. Uh-oh. 
Oh. Uh, oh no. Not even your final form. Oh, good dodge. Okay. <clears throat> 252. Whoa, I'm like dodging everything. Do you just have... Do you just hit hard but have horrible accuracy now? What's the deal here? I guess your accuracy just sucks. How unfortunate for you. Oh, now my accuracy sucks. Um, execute another glitch. Uh-huh. Uh... Let's cash. Let's go ahead and do that. Nope. None of that, please. Alright, so, uh, I want to patch. Use a data packet. There we go. And, uh, now I'm going to glitch you again. There we are. You haven't got me too low HP yet, so... I do want to watch out for that crazy punch attack you do, though. You've missed it basically every time, but... I am scared of what it'll actually do to me. You have a lot of HP, actually. Kind of crazy. I'm surprised you're still going, but once I build up to my next, like, little charge thing, we may be good. Let's go ahead and heal up. I noticed I could have cast it on you. Are we gonna have, like, undead enemies at some point? That'll, uh, be damaged by heals. I don't, I don't see another reason why I would want to do that. Uh, alright. Just hack you. So, I'm probably just gonna wait for my jack move to build up. And, uh, once it builds up, then I can probably finish you off. Uh, wow, just magic pixel, we weren't there. There we go. Alright, prepare to get jacked off. Yeah. Horrible phrasing. I saw Jack and I I saw the opportunity to make a dumb immature joke and I took it. I just think I just think Jack as like Jack move. It's just such a funny name. I just it, it's it's funny. I know it's probably talking about like jacking in and stuff like that, but I don't know. I whenever I think of Jack, I I, I think of other things, so it's just funny to me. And I'm an immature idiot, so... Okay, my sass went up, my synapse went up, my luck went up. My grok, whatever the hell that is. My guts and my toughness. Cool. Seems like we do just get points. I wonder if there's any way for me to manage how my stats increase. Ryder, any news on that plan, dude? No way, do you trust me? I really hate it when you ask me that. It's gonna be jump off, isn't it? You're gonna hate this next bit even more. I want you to jump off the building. What? In three, two, one. Hey, that was longer than that. Because you took a few seconds to, to run over to the thing. Jack move. All right, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. I enjoyed that. Assuming that we don't have more. It gave the title drop, so I'm assuming that's it. We got saved by a little drone. Oh, that got a bit hairy. What are you talking about? We had it totally under control. Right, of course we did. Thanks for the cab service, by the way. Like Mono Mind, the system and their delivery drones is so simple to hack, it's nearly an insult. All right, hacker genius, who's being cocky now? Just be happy we got there in the end. You're the one who wanted to go through with it. You know, the drone trick is pretty neat. Risky, fun, bit of a fluke. It's like something Ming would, co would have come up with. All we need now is a random encounter with the Mafia and a few bullet wounds to remember the night by. Ryder? I'll deliver the goods to the client so you get some rest. Hey, come on, don't be like that. It was a joke. Besides, the guy was a loose cannon and he made you miserable. Isn't it about time... Ryder? Ryder? Damn it. Nice going, Noah. Oh, seems like we made a joke that our friend did not like. Home to bed, then, I guess. Head home to bed. Where is home? Yeah, man, the music's really awesome here. Why do I glow so brightly when I get in front of this? I'm guessing there's, like, a light there or something? Shouldn't jump drones, you know. Running energies on overtime is bad for the environment. You mean the smog-filled chemical dust post-war environment? You want to save the polar bears or not? I, I'm imagining in this world the polar bears are already done. Already very dead. 
Is this my home? Yeah, this is my home. Okay, well, let's go talk to some people a little bit more first. Let's see. What's up? Hey, no, a late night? Okay, not much to say. I just saw some characters, so I thought I would talk. No, don't go that way. There are a ton of mean-looking guard people sleeping around. Hehe, <laughs> you're always in big trouble. Life. Thanks for trouble making her no one. Thanks, kids. Alright. Doesn't seem like there's much we could do besides talk to you. Uh, oh wait, no, there's a treasure chest over there. Might as well grab it. <clears throat> Hello, treasure. 200 credits. Cool. Alright, so let's just go up to our apartment, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, no, our apartment... Is that... That's 23. No, no, it's 2B! It's 2B! It's apartment 2B! Yes! <laughs> Where's apartment 9S? And A2. Alright, um... How to meet the avatar of your dreams. 10 reasons to get a somatosensory cortex enhancement right now. Is a digitized relationship right for you? Take the quiz. A lot of drinks. Just kind of thrown around here. Thanks for playing. That's it. We hope you enjoyed this small sli slice of Jack move. Wish us the full game on Steam to be notified when it's unleashed upon the world. Oh, I'm definitely going to be wishlisting that as soon as I end this video because this is fun. So, I really, really liked this one. It was, it was neat. So, I'll put the link to the game in the description if you want to try it out yourself. But uh, other than that, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.